Hello everyone, this is Inspire 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Leo, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week, commencing the 17th of October until the 23rd of October 2016. The first card for you is representing, the past position of your love life. Your card is, the Eight of Pentacles. This is a time of learning new skills and a time of beginning something that one has not previously done. In this sense, the Eight of Pentacles indicates that you are experiencing or about to experience a change or a new beginning in terms of your work, education or financial circumstances. However, this card symbolizes a concentrated determination to master the new skill being learned and the single-minded effort of someone who has consciously chosen a new career path or creative undertaking. This card shows a diligent and hard-working attitude, and indicates that you are applying yourself fully to whatever is at the center of your attention. This card creates success through perseverance and individual initiative as opposed to luck or the generosity of others. The Eight of Pentacles suggests you are working your way at the finer details of the various aspects of your life, in an effort to continuously improve your situation. You may be unhappy with your current state and you know you need to make some important changes in your life to increase your overall satisfaction. This card is a really positive sign that you are committed to making those changes and to ensuring that you give yourself the best possible chance. Overall, this is a very hard-working and conscientious energy that is present in your life. The Eight of Pentacles is encouragement to keep doing what you are doing as it will eventually lead to success. Yes, it requires a lot of dedication focus and patience but as each day passes and as you stay true to your values and beliefs, you get a little closer to your goal. It may not be as apparent as you may like but events are unfolding that will lead you to the right path. Continue working on yourself, too, and making ongoing improvements and adjustments to ensure that you are the best person you can be. The Eight of Pentacles may indicate further education or study in order to hone your skills. You may already be proficient in a particular skill set but you are now seeking to master those skills. For example, you may be a great home cook but now you are starting to focus your attention on fine French cuisine. Or perhaps you have learnt the basics of tarot reading but now you want to become a tarot expert. 
you know that it will require a lot of focus and dedication in your studies but you are willing to work hard and to pay attention to the details. You know that you will not learn these advanced skills overnight but you are prepared for the journey towards becoming a master at your chosen expertise. If you encounter this card in a reading and are not currently engaged in the active pursuit of your goals, ask yourself what you could learn or create to better yourself or your circumstances. If you are already engaged in the pursuit of new learning, the Eight of Pentacles may be a card of encouragement and reassurance that the energy you invest in your development will be worth your while. The downside of the Eight of Pentacles is that by focusing on the details of your work or study, you may become a perfectionist. While it is important to get the details right, be aware of any tendency towards perfectionism where you may lose sight of the bigger picture. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the King of Swords. There is a male figure in your life that is significant most likely from air signs. His character indicates the stern leadership of a judge, lawyer, or military commander whose emotions must be kept in check under the pressure of battle. Overall, this card asks you to remain detached and objective in a specific situation, in order to ascertain the truth and seek out only the facts. You need to use your intellect to prove your point and succeed. Your education and experience are important but so are your day-to-day -day observations and thoughts. You can also solve problems by using history, rules, laws and diplomacy. The King of Swords suggests that you need to adopt a very stern but fair role. You have clarity of mind and can perceive the truth right now, so you must take the lead with providing an objective point of view. You are well positioned to judge your situation appropriately and identify the limiting behaviors that are getting the way. This is a time when you need to leave emotions out of it, and remain as objective and rational as possible. You may need to reason with others and be quite direct about what you are observing. You may be concerned that you are not being particularly caring or sympathetic but at this point in time, this detachment is what is needed most. Similarly, the King of Swords encourages you to use your logic and intellect to navigate your path ahead. You will need to get to the heart of the matter, make firm and well-researched decisions and ensure that you are firm but fair in your dealings with others. You need to be able to take any situation, look at it with total impartiality, and then come to a decision that is both fair and insightful. Oftentimes, the King of Swords represents a professional advisor, such as a solicitor or attorney, financial advisor or taxation consultant. This advisor has a solid reputation and a vast amount of knowledge in his particular field, and will provide you with objective, well-researched advice about your own situation. He is completely impartial, and will draw upon his experience and his innate knowledge of the rules, systems and structures that are in place. He may come across as detached or disinterested in your personal circumstances unless it relates specifically to the type of advice he is giving you. This is so that he can provide only the most relevant and objective advice to you. He prides himself in his expertise and qualifications, and is likely to charge a high fee for his services. Nonetheless, he offers the rigor and specialist knowledge that you need right now. If you have not engaged the help of an expert, the appearance of the King of Swords suggests that it may be worthwhile getting some legal or financial advice. If you are expecting changes or particular circumstances to arise that will require expert advice, you can be on the front foot by seeking advice before they happen. That way, when they do roll through, you are ready to demand your rights and seek an outcome that benefits you. You may also benefit by finding an advocate or mentor who will look out for your needs and who can provide you with objective and smart advice about what to do. 
this king is also a man of the highest ethical standards. It is impossible to corrupt him and as such he acts as a pillar of strength who gives sound advice to everyone, no matter who they are. What is more, he firmly expects others to operate by the rules of the law and will not tolerate others who break the law. As a father, for example, he will become very angry if his children do not follow the house rules. The third card for you is representing the future of your love life. Your card is the Queen of Swords. You will meet a female significant figure who is most likely from the air sign who is stern and composed, and without much feeling. If you are single, she might be someone that you're looking forward to be your partner. On the other hand, this card also represents the intellect's ability to judge and discern impartially, without the influence of emotion or sentimentality. She likes to know the how, what, why, where, when and who of everything to help her make sense of her environment and to better understand others. It is not that she does not care about others but she connects to other people through an intellectual understanding rather than an emotional understanding. The Queen of Swords is a sign that you need to be independent in thought and in judgment. You must use your unbiased intelligence in order to make a judgment of a particular situation, drawing upon every piece of information and fact that you have gathered along the way. Empathy or compassion towards others may distract you from the task at hand, so it is important that you think with your head and not with your heart at this particular time. Do not let emotion get in the way. Rather, use fact and logic to make your decisions. The Queen of Swords also has an innate ability to tell it like it is. She is a quick thinker and highly perceptive, and as such, she can cut through the noise and confusion to get straight to the point. There is certainly no beating about the bush, or softening of her comments, opinions and thoughts. She is upfront and honest about her opinions, and expects the same from others. The best way to interact with the Queen of Swords, therefore, is to remain as impartial as possible, and to present your thoughts and opinions concisely and honestly. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Spiritual Growth you are going through a time of rapid spiritual growth. Enjoy the process. During this time, you may feel a mixture of many feelings, confusion, excitement, fear, and wonder. You love your renewed connection with the Divine, and you wish that you could read, study, learn, or meditate on a full-time basis. Simultaneously, Though, you may worry about the implications that your spiritual studies will have on the rest of your life. What impact will your new spiritual pursuits have on your job, marriage, or friendships? These worries create a fear that may erode the enjoyment your spiritual studies bring you. Surrender these fears to God, dearest one. Trust that you are supported, loved, and guided each moment. Don't worry about how your future will blend with your spiritual growth. Trust that the same power that brought you to your spiritual path will also take care of everything else for you. After all, this power supports all of the planets in the sky. It will surely support you perfectly, too. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.